What's going on, everyone? So we just did our review on The Killing Joke, and we decided that we would do a whole nother topic video. We thought it was an entire discussion all in and of itself. And so we're, we're here today to just talk about why was The Killing Joke rated R? After the success of Deadpool, Fox, DC, been trying to capitalize off that because you have Batman v Superman with its hard R cut on the Blu-ray and then uh, X-Men coming out with their Wolverine 3 that's supposedly rated R now because they're all trying to capitalize off of Deadpool's rated R success. And here we are back at DC with the R-rated Killing Joke. And yes, while there was definitely some gruesome, gory sex scenes in this, why was it rated R? I didn't find anything in the movie that was really gapingly R rating. Like, if I had never seen any of the other DC animated films that were all PG-13, mind you, I would have totally bought that this movie was rated R. But I've seen those... And I've seen the same, if not worse, type of content in those. What do you think? Yeah, most definitely. Um, after reading The Killing <sighs> Joke and when I heard it got approved for an R rating, I was so excited. Mainly because, um, like, let's be honest, we all love these DC, more so we all love the DC animated uh, universe. We love the TV series and stuff, but we always think to ourselves... What if they didn't have those restrictions? Like, even if something is rated PG-13, you know they still have some restrictions. Like, they can't go for a hard PG-13 in some cases. But with Batman the Killing mm -hmm. Joke, I thought this was like a sign that if this thing did well, we might be able to see more R-rated animated features featuring superhero characters. Because we've gotten some in the past. Don't get me wrong. They've had their, you know, own little shorts, feature films, what have you. Uh, but with this movie, though... I, I left the theater wondering to myself, that felt more like PG-13 than anything else. It really did. And I mean, because, okay, let's just compare some things in the movie. What, what happened that may have made it rated R? People got shot in the head and their blood splattered everywhere. Okay, so let's take it back to Under the Red Hood, a film I actually just watched the other day. Red Hood versus those four cybernetic guys... At the very end, he, he takes some electric thing and hits it on one of those guys' eye, and blood from his brain, from his head, splatters all over the back wall. Reminder, PG-13. Uh, then go back to the killing joke. Then you have those references to sex uh, or rape or other things like that, which the rape is doesn't even isn't even hinted at so that i mean that doesn't even attribute to the rating but there is a lot of sex references on there so okay fine go back to batman year B, also pg-13 has a total there's a total area in which batman goes to that's nothing but prostitution like absolutely nothing it's this entire section of the town where catwoman is or selena kyle where she, there's people being sold there's pimps around you know, so I'm sitting here watching The Killing Joke, and I'm like, why is this rated R? Yeah, it, it was weird. I mean, like you mentioned earlier, when it came to Deadpool, that's like a new trend from the um, Hollywood executives that, oh, rated R means we're going to make a butt ton of money. But I think what they don't understand is why Deadpool being rated R made it a success. Deadpool being rated R was just Deadpool the character being Deadpool the character. If Deadpool was PG-13 or PG, he wouldn't work the same. But that doesn't give you free reign that, oh, since it's rated R, that means it's a, like it's automatically going to print bank. Like with Batman vs. Superman, the ultimate cut, I don't know if you've seen that yet. I haven't. Okay, so I ended up watching it with one of my friends, you know, in its three-hour glory, if you will, I left that wondering to myself, how in the world was that rated R? I mean, sure, there's a bit more violent scenes with the soldiers and stuff in the beginning, but it, it doesn't come off as a rated R movie. Honestly, they're just using this to try to sell copies like, oh, see what you couldn't see in the theaters, what was too gruesome for people's eyes. And, and that's really disappointing because... I think this is going to start ushering in a trend of let's try to make things ultra violent and brutal just because Deadpool is a success. No, Deadpool is a success because people actually gave a damn about the Deadpool character. 
Likewise, you can't make like the Wolverine 3R and then think to yourselves, oh, that's going to stop all the BS from Fox. No, the BS from Fox is still going to be in there. It's just you're going to have a bit more bloody scenes. And that's another thing you can point out. Look at something like X-Men Origins Wolverine or the Wolverine sequel. Those are PG-13 rated movies, but they have a lot of stuff in there that makes them a hard PG-13 rating. Similar to the DC Animated Universe. Mm-hmm. So it just seems to me like they were just trying to, like like you mentioned in the review, they were trying to market this as, you know, the really dark and brooding, edgy DC universe, you know, see the graphic novel brought to life in its best possible way type stuff. Exactly. And I really hope this doesn't follow suit with future DC animated movies. Like, I don't want them to start throwing in, you know, sex, unneeded sex scenes or unneeded uh, you know, child violence or rape, just because hey, look, it's an R rating. You know, that's that's stuff that isn't needed or stuff that wasn't in the original source material. I want them to make movies that are true to the comic, so true that they don't care if it's an R rating and the, and they're risking taking away that audience because they want to be so true to the source material. That's types of risks. Yeah. It just seems pretty weird, and I think this is probably going to be a one-off. I don't think that any future DC animated movies are really going to try to follow this path because, let's be honest, a lot of the stuff that's made is made to sell toys. And while Batman Killing Joke was a one-off, it was done, quote, for the fans, I don't think we're going to be seeing like other direct-to-DVD DC stuff really be that dark because they still have to sell toys at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Very true, which they can't do with an R-rated film. PG-13, maybe, because, I mean, The Dark Knight was able to sell toys, and that was kind of a dark movie, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not really something that we're, I know us doing this video, it seems like we're blowing this out of proportion, like, come on, guys, this is just a, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but it is something to consider because of, in the span of when Deadpool came out in February, we're now in August. Not only have we seen Fox retaliate, we've seen Warner Brother retaliate on two occasions. And then Marvel's just doing their own thing, saying, nah, we don't need our ratings to justify stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that Hollywood has been thinking about, but they're going about it in all the wrong ways. And to be honest, I don't think I could ever see Disney putting their name on anything that has an R rating. I don't think they've ever done that yet, have they? Well, they've done some things with their like other branches, like Touchstone Pictures and everything that they own, but never like Walt Disney Pictures presents an R rated feature. That's why. That's why this stuff like um the Netflix series. That's why that stuff stays on Netflix. You know. Uh huh. Um, so them crossing over into the MCU, like someone like the Punisher, I don't really think we're going to see him showing up in the, uh, movies anytime soon, unless, you know, they go for a hard PG-13 rating, you know? Which they might do. I mean, depending on how popular the character is with fans, they Mm -hmm. might want to tie him in. Yeah, anything's possible. All right, guys, that was our discussion video over why we thought it made absolutely no sense for the Killing Joke to have an R rating. What do you guys think? Uh, please so- sound off down below in the comment section. Whether you agree, disagree, let us know. I'd love to read them. Uh, anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.